Happy Friday, Gladiators. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Abby Lorbecki. And, and this, this is your, your KWHS News. News. Attention juniors and seniors, college reps continue to visit with us. On October 18th, Paul Mitchell Beauty School will be in the Lower Common and Grand Canyon University were scheduled for Wednesday, October 19th. On November 1st, UNC Greeley will be here, DU on November 8th, and Savannah College of Art and Design on November 9th, while Lamar Community College will stop by on November 10th. CSU Fort Collins closes out the month of November with a visit on November 17th. Remember to get your pass from the Counseling Center to attend any of these sessions. Seniors, don't send Mrs. Kennedy into early labor. Get your senior photos and baby ads in on time. Yearbook members will be in room 104 today and next Friday, October 21st, to collect your senior photos and baby ads. The absolute deadline is October 21st. See Mrs. Kennedy for more information. If your seniors are a little tired this morning, it's because they went to their senior sunrise at 6.30. Another important day for seniors is Wednesday, October 19th. There will be a senior parent meeting at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. You and your parents will want to attend this meeting to receive important graduation information. To help you order class rings, caps and gowns, and graduation announcements, come early to see the Herf Jones representative in the lower commons before the meeting from 5 to 6. If you are having difficulties or have questions about the FAFSA process, come to the Senior Parent Financial Aid and FAFSA night. It will be on Tuesday, November 15th. This meeting is a great opportunity to meet with a financial aid specialist from Pikes Peak Community College and to learn how financial aid works, decide what loans you might want or need, and to help prepare for the FAFSA. Remember to bring your tax information to maximize this opportunity. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center at this number or by this email. Juniors, yesterday was the last day to sign up for the PSAT test. If you signed up, remember the test is from 8 a.m. to noon here at Whitefield High School. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch today? Hi, it's Friday. I am so glad, too. Today we're having roasted chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. Make sure you come and see us. Have a great day and a good weekend. Bye! That sounds like a great lunch. I'm hungry already. All teachers and students, if you have a relative who graduated from Whitefield and is currently on active, please bring in a photo to the ROTC Room 125. Remember to include a name, rank, and the year they right. and the year they graduated. Now here are Dylan Ham and Elijah Clark with their sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Ham, And I'm Elijah Clark. And this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Volleyball played Sierra last night and rode the Stallions to victory. Ladies, open gym for girls basketball continues on Mondays and Wednesdays and Bowers gym from 6 to 7.30 until the season starts in November. There will be a meeting for girls swim and dive in room 110 on Wednesday, October 19th. See Ms. Wickberg if you need more information or can't make the meeting. The Football Booster Club is raffling off an autographed Tampa Bay Buccaneers jersey from Whitefield alum Vincent Jackson. You can buy your raffle tickets at any home varsity football game. Tickets are $1 for 3, $2 for 5, or $5 for 10. And the drawing will be held on October 21st. The football team takes on Air Academy tonight. Remember that the game is on the Air Force Academy. Bring the necessary items like car insurance and ID. Attention juniors. Student cabinet needs more junior girls to participate in the powder puff game and more junior boys to be cheerleaders. See Ms. Ship to pick up a permission slip in room 202 and turn it in today. If there aren't enough students to play, or to participate in the cheer, then the game will be moved to the spring. But for now, it is still scheduled for Thursday, October 27th. Wear pink and get in for free. I'm Dylan Ham, And I'm Elijah Clark. Have a great Friday. Back to you, John and Abby. Thanks, guys. Cinderella proves that a new pair of shoes can change your life. This year's musical will be Cinderella. Auditions are next Monday and Tuesday, October 17th and 18th. And callbacks will be October 20th. Please prepare a monologue and Disney or Broadway song. You can pick up monologues and sign up for a time in the drama or choir room. Please see Miss Rifle or Elwell for more information. If drama isn't your thing, why not try writing a story for the yearly Security Public Library Story Contest? Write a story based on the picture prompt. You can see the picture at the library or on their website. The first and second place winners will each receive Barnes and Noble gift cards. For more info, call Barb at this number. Are you into club? If so, be sure to make your meetings on time. Today's club meetings will include Power Club, Today with Ms.
with Miss Sardinia. NHS invites went out to juniors and seniors who met the minimum qualifications. The National Honor Society applications are due today. If you are a junior or senior and you think you qualify but did not receive an invitation, see Mrs. HK in the library. Finally, do you have a really cool photo that only lives on Snapchat or Instagram? Why not send it to the yearbook staff so they can publish it in this year's yearbook? Give your Instagram and Snapchat photos new life by sending them to this email address. Remember to order your yearbooks now before the $60 price goes up. See Mrs. Kennedy or any yearbook staff member to order your book today. Have a great weekend, Glads. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm John Christofferson, and this was your KWHS News.